I have compiled a list of the 20 most brutal torture techniques that have ever been used by humans. This list ranks from shit this really sucks to fuck my life, just kill me already. Let's get started. Having an hour-long conversation with either Joe Biden or Donald Trump. Shit, wrong list. Let's try this again. Scafism involved trapping the victim between two boats or hollowed out tree trunks, exposing only the head, hands and feet. The victim was force-fed milk and honey, which caused severe diarrhea, and more honey was smeared on their exposed parts to attract insects. The unfortunate individual would then be left to endure the torment of insects and vermin consuming their flesh, often leading to a prolonged and agonizing death. The brazen bull was a hollow bronze statue shaped like a bull, into which the victim was placed. A fire was set under the bull, heating the metal until the person inside was roasted alive. The bull's design included a complex system of tubes, which converted the victim's screams into sounds resembling the bellowing of an enraged bull. The boot was a device in which the victim's feet were enclosed in iron boots, then filled with boiling water or oil. The intense heat caused severe burns, scalding, and even the cooking of the flesh. This method inflicted extreme pain and often resulted in permanent disfigurement or death. Necklacing involved placing a rubber tire filled with petrol around the victim's chest and arms. The tire was then set on fire, causing the person to burn alive. This method was notoriously used during political violence in South Africa and resulted in a horrific and agonizing death. Lynchy, also known as death by a thousand cuts, involved the systematic removal of portions of the victim's flesh over an extended period. The executioner would carefully slice the skin, muscles and eventually organs, ensuring the victim remained alive and conscious for as long as possible. This torture was both physically excruciating and psychologically tormenting. The garrote was a device used for execution by strangulation. The victim was seated with a metal collar around their neck, which was tightened by turning a screw until the person was strangled to death. Some versions included a spike that penetrated the neck or spinal cord, ensuring a more immediate but still painful death. The wooden horse was a torture device, resembling a sawhorse with a sharp, triangular top. The victim was stripped naked and made to straddle the wooden edge, causing severe pain to the groin area. Often, weights were added to the victim's feet to increase the pressure, leading to deeper cuts and sometimes permanent injury or death from prolonged exposure. Burning at the stake involved tying the victim to a large wooden stake and setting a fire beneath them. The flames would slowly engulf the person, causing severe burns and asphyxiation from the smoke. This method was commonly used during witch trials and as a punishment for heresy ensuring a prolonged and excruciating death. The heretic's fork was a metal device with two sharp prongs at each end. One end was placed under the chin and the other against the chest, preventing the victim from moving their head. Any attempt to move would cause the prongs to pierce the skin, ensuring the victim remained in a painfully rigid position until they confessed or succumbed to exhaustion. Bamboo torture involved the use of sharp bamboo shoots, which can grow rapidly. The victim was tied down above young bamboo plants, which would grow through their body. As the bamboo shoots pierced the flesh, they caused severe pain and internal injuries. This method exploited the natural growth rate of bamboo, leading to a slow and agonizing death. The head crusher consisted of a metal cap attached to a frame with a screw mechanism. The victim's chin was placed on the bottom bar and the cap was lowered onto their head. By turning the screw, the cap would press down on the skull, crushing it and causing extreme pain and eventual death as the brain and skull were compressed. Crocodile shears were iron pincers with serrated edges used to mutilate the victim's body parts, often the penis or fingers. Heated until red hot, they were clamped onto the victim's appendages, causing severe burns and crushing injuries. This method was used to punish traitors and blasphemers with a painful and humiliating mutilation.
The pair of anguish was a pear-shaped device inserted into the victim's mouth, anus, or vagina. Once inside, it was expanded by turning a screw, causing severe internal damage. This torture was used to punish liars, blasphemers, or homosexuals, inflicting intense pain and often leading to death or lifelong injury. The breaking wheel, or Catherine wheel, was a large wooden wheel to which the victim was tied. The executioner would then use a heavy iron bar to break the victim's limbs in multiple places. After the bones were shattered, the body would often be woven between the spokes of the wheel and left to die a slow and painful death. Impalement involved driving a sharp stake through the victim's body, typically starting from the rectum or vagina and exiting through the mouth, shoulder or back. This method ensured a slow and agonizing death, as the victim could remain alive for hours or even days. Vlad the Impaler famously used this technique to instill fear and maintain control. Rat torture involved placing a cage with one open side against the victim's body, usually the stomach. Heated from the other side, the rats inside the cage would attempt to escape by burrowing through the victim's flesh. The gnawing and clawing by the frantic rats caused unimaginable pain and terror. The Iron Maiden was a coffin-like device with spikes on the inside. The victim was placed inside and the door was slowly closed, driving the spikes into their body. The design ensured that the spikes did not penetrate vital organs immediately, prolonging the victim's agony as they bled out or succumbed to infection. The rack was a device used to stretch the victim's body by pulling their limbs in opposite directions. The victim was tied down, and a mechanism was used to gradually increase tension, leading to dislocated joints and broken bones. This torture could last for hours, causing excruciating pain and permanent damage before death or release. Saw torture involved hanging the victim upside down, increasing blood flow to the head and prolonging consciousness. Executioners would then saw the victim in half, starting from the groin, ensuring the person remained alive and conscious for a significant portion of the process. This method was both exceptionally cruel and visually horrifying. Keel hauling was a maritime punishment, where the victim was tied to a rope looped beneath the ship and dragged along the keel. As they were pulled under the ship, their body would scrape against barnacles and other sharp objects. This caused severe lacerations and often led to drowning or infection from the wounds.